Hello friends, welcome to this lecture. Now, this starting this lecture, we are going to design our store. Now, when you log into your Shopify dashboard, you have to go to online store to design your store. Now, by default, Shopify will give you the debut theme. It's a free theme. Most of the uh, Shopify dropshippers use debut theme for if you have a niche product, they use debut theme when they use free theme. Majorly people use paid theme, but uh, people who are using free theme, they all, they, most of them prefer debut theme only. Still, if you want to see other free themes, then you can go down and explore free themes. So there's simple Brooklyn. Now there are different categories. They, uh, there are different uh, themes also. For example, if you have a fashion brand, then simple and Brooklyn is good. If you are uh, promoting a one product store, that is you are just focusing on one product then jumpstart this theme is very best for one product store and it is free my favorite when it comes to free themes it's debut theme nowadays i don't use free theme i use a paid theme especially the ecom turbo the reason why i use that theme is because it comes with inbuilt features for which you have to install certain apps from Shopify. They are conversion apps that will help you increase sales. And those apps will cost you 40 to $50 per month. They are not inbuilt. Uh, these features are not inbuilt in debut or any free theme. You have to pay monthly charges subscription from Shopify for that. But uh, those features come inbuilt in those themes, uh, especially the Ecom Turbo thing, it comes with uh, discount code, email campaigns and many other things, a timer and some kind of urgency app that makes the your customer and your visitor to buy that. So they come in built of them. But uh, the in these free themes, you don't get this, you have to add additional apps and you have to pay 20 to 30 dollars per month as a cost. Now, for the sake of convenience of all the or students of my course i'm just using a debut theme i'm designing my store using the debut theme so that uh, you can understand how to so that you can understand how to uh, design your store using debut theme and everybody could learn now before going ahead with customization of this theme we have to set up some pages for our uh, debut theme for our menu bar so to set up a page all you have to do is go to pages add a page now we need a uh, one page we need is about us so about us page is required one more page we need is for uh, shipping shipping policy And one more page we require is for refunds and returns and refunds. So these are the pages we have uh, added. Now let's start designing our uh, store. So to design your store, all you have to do is go to online and click on customize. So here is your theme. Uh, currently, this is how your website looks. Now here is uh, from here, you can change all the sections and you can see live how your uh, website, the changes on your website. So first let's go with the header section. Now here it says logo alignment, what kind of logo you want, whether you want it centered or whether you want it left. I always go with the left because it shows it clean. Select images for the logo. I have already uploaded this logo that we have created in a earlier lecture. So let's add it. Through this you can with the help of uh, this, you can uh, control the size of your logo on your site. Now here you can find the menu, the menu that is here, you can see, you can change it. Let's edit the menu.
so the main menu we will edit for the header we have home button now we need uh, to add we can add it catalog no, no, no. we can add uh, about us we created a page on about us so let's edit about us here we will now here you can connect the page with the menu so about us is the menu item and here we connect the page of about us add the second uh, menu that we need is uh, shipping and policy shipping policy we need to add page of shipping policy add another menu item that is for refunds returns and refunds refunds now when it comes to returns and refunds re when it comes to return and refunds we don't need to create a page we should go to policy and in that we have refund policy so connected with that so it will be auto populated now we can add or about us will go upside catalog returns and refunds so save now here if we save it so you can see now your footer now because of this it is uh, the menu is going like this but uh, if uh, we go on a full page it will the all the whole menu would be aligned properly so it's a you can see it's a responsive website the menus are uh, shrinking as the size of the website shrinks now one more thing we can add is show announcement show announcement here you can announce anything like free shipping or uh, free shipping after for uh, every order of 100 dollars currently i will write i always go with free shipping worldwide so i will go free shipping world wide now many people also add things like thanks for 10000 orders for last month or like that it helps in building trust within customers and it does for many people so you can add that also it's just an announcement when people come that uh, we offer free shipping worldwide so have some kind of uh, offer to make to people which we can add here so save free shipping worldwide now when you design your website always keep maximum two or three colors only many people design their website with many colors like buttons are of a different color uh, background is of different colors uh, their announcement is of different color don't try to make too many colors keep it simple and keep it uh, classic i always prefer just two colors one is white and second can be any dark color or black or the color that currently here it is i don't remember the exact but it's a default color comes in uh, with shopify so i can use i generally use two color for my whole website because it makes so simple and so classic generally white and black or generally the white and uh, this color or green or blue color white and blue not more than two colors i go for my website so we have designed the header here and we'll continue now in the next lecture